Hi, I'm Leslie from Cylon Rolling Acres and I just want to share today a little bit about how we're using goats in our woods as a food source and then also as a means to do brush work here on our farm. So on our farm, we have quite a bit of acreage. We have acreage for pasture, we have permanent pasture, and we have hay ground, and we also have uh, about 100 acres of woods. A chunk of it is an old oak savanna, but it is also very much um, grown up with buck, overgrown with buckthorn and other invasive species. In some areas, it's um, it's really there. There's so much tree cover that there's not even any underbrush that's really accessible for even wildlife like deer and other animals um, to really have access to food source as well. So um, we are in the process, um, this is a, be our third year of using our goats um, in our woods to work on brush work, but also using it as an area where we rotationally graze them. So we're setting up, we use, um, we set up small paddocks. This is actually the first time we're gonna be in this area. This happens to be um, a more wide open area on our farm um, within the woods, but we, um, set up paddocks and then we move them every few days. It's a little bit longer period than it is when we're um, grazing on pasture, um, but I'm still paying attention um, to how much forage is available and making sure animals aren't there for too long of time just for their own health as well. Um, so while they're out here, they also have the dogs. We run the, um, the electro net fence with a portable energizer. We also have behind me, you'll see a water source that we bring out here and um, our extra fence. So um, most recently, um, this is the back part of the woods that we're at. Um, we actually have been doing some work to create new paths um, to put up fence because this area back here was really not that accessible for us um, to bring the goats in um, just because it was so thick with um, brambles and thorns and buckthorn and all that nasty stuff that we want to try to eliminate so the, the better trees can continue to grow and we have that nice grassy under, under um, story. So we use the paths that we have made in the past have been a mix of utilizing our brush hog, with our small compact um, Kubota tractor and also using chainsaw. Um, this last year we were able to um, get a new, I call it toy tool for the farm. We got a small bulldozer. Um, I never thought we'd have a bulldozer, but it's kind of taken the place of use for work out here. Um, and it's actually done served its purpose really well. So instead of having a skid steer, we using the bulldozer in that capacity and when we clean our barns or we would have used a skid steer, we use our small compact tractor, some compact tractor. So, but the bulldozer has been great now for helping clear the way for those trails um, because um, even though the goats will set back plant or the trees and the brush, um, that brush will still um, still exist. So we still have to do some removal after the fact. So um, it's been kind of fun to see things progress. Um, so this year, again, like I said, this will be the first time we'll be moving through this area. And, um, and then we'll start to progress forward where we've already been at. And the other areas closer to the farm set where we have our existing pasture, um, this will be our third season grazing those areas. And you can really start to see a difference in terms of the grass that's starting to come back underneath the tree canopy. And even in the paths that we have mowed um, to create um, a nice subdivided area um, to put that fence up so there's no issues with we're trying to minimize issues with trees falling. Of course, there's not a lot you can do about that, but minimize um, damage that way from deer jumping through um, and just maintenance and ease of putting it up. So that is a little bit about what we're doing here in our woods. But really the, the goal is to um, get it back to more of a, an, oak, an oak savanna with, with some other trees in there. So that means we're gonna be reducing some of the tree canopy cover but um, it's still very much going to be a silva pasture environment, which is a mix of pasture and trees, much like it was um, kind of pre 1960s when um, farmers were still um, grazing their animals as part of their feed plan. And um, after that point, um, a lot of animals were taken off the land and pastures like this, silva, pa silva pastures, existing oak savannas really started to grow, um, grow 
I get overgrown. And um, that's where we're at today with kind of dealing with this mess that's not that's here. And so um, part of it, you know, even pre domesticated livestock, um, animals, you know, larger herds of deer, the bison were really the ones that were helping um, migrate and move through and, and do the grazing work much like our livestock are doing and helped manage part of the ecosystem just because they were part of that system. And so we're trying kind of mimicking the work of the bison from long ago um, in a more controlled manner, but taking those cues in how we can utilize this space, not just for our livestock, but also make it um, a great habitat for our wildlife um, that's right here around our in and around our farm. So if you have questions about what we're doing, um, just drop them below and be glad to um, share a little bit more about what we're doing here on our farm.